With its beautiful display and stylish design, the Galaxy S3 looks great on the outside. But what about on the inside? Let's find out. I'm Bill Detweiler, and this is Cracking Open. From a teardown and repair standpoint, the S3 has both positives and negatives. On the plus side, its polycarbonate case is ridiculously easy to open. Thanks to its user-replaceable, NFC-capable battery, the back cover just pops off. And after removing a few Phillips screws, I detach the motherboard cover using just my fingers. The headphone jack and speaker assembly came out just as easily. Another positive is the motherboard's connector placement. Unlike the HTC One X, most of the S3's connectors are located on the side of the motherboard that faces the phone's back cover. Now this makes the board easy to remove and reinstall. Unfortunately, while getting to most of the internal components is a snap, replacing them may be a bit more complicated. Some components, such as the volume buttons, earpiece, and service light, appear to be joined together with a single ribbon cable. Now, if you replace one, you'll probably need to replace them all. Also, most of the internal ribbon cables are glued to the internal frame. If you ever need to replace the frame, it would be very difficult to remove all the attached components without damaging them. Now, if you're wondering why you'd ever need to replace the frame, that brings me to my biggest complaint about the phone's construction. The front panel, display, and frame are all sandwiched together and held in place with extremely strong adhesive. If you crack the display or the front panel, which happens a lot, you'll likely have to replace the whole assembly or just get a new phone. Now that we've discussed the pros and cons of the S3's construction, let's take a tour around the phone's internal hardware. Unlike the International S3, which has a quad-core Samsung Exynos processor, the US version, like this T-Mobile unit, have a 1.5 GHz dual-core Qualcomm S4 chip, shown here mounted under the 2 gig RAM chip. They also have either 16 or 32 gigs of onboard storage, a micro SD card slot, an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera, 1.9 megapixel front-facing camera, and a 4.8 inch HD Super AMOLED display. As of this taping, T-Mobile's version of the Samsung Galaxy S3 is available for $199 with a two-year contract. And despite my complaints about its repairability, it's a solid Android phone with top-shelf hardware and a highly competitive price. For more information on the phone's software, real-world performance, and battery life test results, check out Jessica Dolcourt's full CNET review. And to see more teardown photos and read my full hardware analysis, go to techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. I'm Bill Detweiler. Thanks for watching.